hi youtube good morning it is it's been a minute since i've uploaded a video for you guys and that is why i'm trying to record this video which is another weekend workwear and it's not because i don't like youtube it's just that work has been hectic life has been hectic everything has been hectic and i'm i just haven't had time to film but i figured i'd try and put and make an extra five minutes each morning to record what i'm wearing and speaking of youtube this is not a good segue but i see that in spite of the fact that i haven't been uploading videos i'm still getting more subscribers so thank you so much for subscribing to my channel even though i haven't been consistent more recently with <laughs> babe husband just distracted me in the background <laughs> but um <laughs> thank you so much for subscribing even though i haven't been really um, you know consistent over here, but I will try really hard to be a bit more consistent even though like I said Work is still hectic life is still hectic. We're getting into the end of the fiscal year for us and so but anyway um, So let's get into this outfit. This is the first day of fall and so I Even though it's the first well, it's not the first day of fall It's the first Monday in fall and even though it's the first Monday in fall. It feels like summer It's probably going to be about 90 something degrees today but here's my outfit on the top i'm wearing one of my favorite shirts from express and this is the portofino shirt in the slim fit and it's in an olive green color and i picked this color out for the first monday in fall because it's fall and it's olive and so that's it and then for my skirt i'm just wearing a plain black skirt which has kind of like a flap on here and that is from Talbots. It was a birthday present from my mother-in-law. And then last but not least are my shoes. And these are these are actually a new addition to my collection. I got this during the Labor Day sale. And these are Kate Spades. I think they're Mary Jane's. I'm not sure. They remind me of Mary Jane's shoes though. And I really like the ankle strap around them. And so I figured I'd better wear them at least once this year before it gets cold. And so yeah so this is my entire outfit this is what it looks like i'm filming in my closet anyway so this is what it looks like on for the jewelry i'm just wearing this um gold necklace that was a present as well and these earrings that i got a while ago from zara i like them because they're like pearl in front and then the diamond fake diamond studs the diamonds are in the back and so yeah and yeah that's it that's my outfit i hope you have an amazing monday i hope i have an amazing monday as well but i will catch you tomorrow bye happy tuesday so here we are today with another outfit and this one is very simple it's just a shirt dress and it's a calvin klein navy shirt dress that i got from tj maxx and it's got all these gold button details everywhere like even down the sleeves there's gold everywhere and so i like it and then um, for the belt it comes with the belt and so I just kind of did a loop around here and tied it in the back so the knot is in the back so I just have to be a bit um, conscious of that during the day so that it doesn't fall out and I have kind of like a tail you know following me everywhere I go but yeah that's it and then um, for the feet I, I'm busting out boots today because it's significantly colder today and so these are light brown boots and they are also Kate Spade I like Kate Spade footwear and so this is my outfit and so the dress is a little short but my sleeves are covered so my arms are covered by my sleeves completely so i mean i think it's okay and my feet are completely covered as well so i mean a little knee doesn't kill anybody right <laughs> for jewelry i am wearing this um this emerald necklace that my husband got for me it's also gold but um, I'm wearing it and it's really, really long. And so I've kind of put it under my collar so it can actually show up. I really don't need the necklace because there's so much gold going on with the dress. But I haven't worn this necklace in a while. And so I thought I'd just show it some love today. And then on the ears, I'm wearing just these gold, gold earrings that I've had for a while. Like I've had them since when I was in Nigeria, I think. I mean, if you're from Nigeria, you'd know that these gold necklaces are like... Sorry, gold earrings are pretty common. And so yeah so that's my outfit for the day i hope you have a good tuesday take care happy hump day so today's outfit is i'm rocking so many different trends so the first thing i'm, I'm doing the print on print trend 
and so my shirt is um one of my favorites it's um, a portofino shirt from express and it's in this window pane design and i'm rocking it over these wide leg pants that are also from express i think and it's in this pattern i don't know what this pattern is called but i've been seeing a lot of these on the runway this season and so i figured i'd throw it into the mix and so that's what i'm wearing and then for the footwear i'm wearing these red flats and these flats well they're not flats they're like tiny little wedges and these are from bcbg and I'm wearing them and I'm wearing red because I wanted a pop of color with this outfit but then also because red is a very common color this season um, fashion wise and so here's my entire outfit it might be a bit much with all of the different um, trends going on but I like it that's what matters right and for my jewelry today i am wearing this necklace you guys have seen this necklace it's a um diamond necklace that my husband got for me and i decided to pair to pair that with just these diamond studs as well when i go to work i don't like to wear really um loud jewelry i like to keep my jewelry really toned down so that's it anyway have an amazing wednesday and i'll see you tomorrow happy thursday you guys so here's my outfit for the day it is denim on denim and so i'm wearing this denim shirt that i got a while ago from j crew and i'm putting it over this darker wash jeans from express and they're like skinny ish jeans and because this outfit looks pretty masculine i decided to throw on a scarf and it's this fun pink scarf that i got from talbot's quite recently actually and I shall show you guys the details in the scarf maybe tomorrow but um yeah so denim and denim with a bright pink scarf to kind of keep me warm and also to make the outfit look a bit more feminine I don't know if I like how I tied the scarf though but oh well and then on my feet are these these boots from Aldo I've had them for close to a year now I got them last fall and they keep me very warm because it was a bit chilly in the office yesterday so i'm trying to make up for that even though i don't want to get a jacket out i'm just trying to keep as warm as possible and so that is my outfit for the day so on my ears i'm wearing um my chanel earrings just you know just because and can you see some of the detail on the scarf there's i shall show it to you guys tomorrow but it's got like um it's like a parisian theme so there's like the eiffel tower and you know a whole bunch of different attractions from paris or france on this scarf and i really like it i like that it's hot pink and yeah anyway this is my look for the day it's um relatively casual you know but it's also pretty warm without me having to bust out a sweater or a jacket so that's it that's my outfit i hope you have an amazing thursday and i'll catch you in my next video Hey guys, so we're in the whole part of this video and I've got a whole bunch of things from, well, it's from two places as you can probably tell from the title. Um, I got some things from Ulta, Ulta Beauty, and I also got a whole bunch of things from Bath and Body Works. So, well, here's my, so here's my huge bag from Bath and Body Works and I really went and spent all my money there. Well, not all of my money, but, and then I got a small order from Ulta, so, but, before we get into this, I hope you really like the week in workwear part of this video. And I really want to shout out to Mary, Marie B because you're the one who mentioned that you really like these videos and you'd like to see a few more of them. And so that's why I went ahead and recorded another um, week in workwear. And I expect to, to be, well, you guys will be expecting uh, quite a bit more of these week in workwear videos because other than them, I actually like showing you guys ideas for things to wear they also kind of push me to you know up my game a little instead of kind of like just wearing flats to work I actually think a little bit more about what I'm going to be wearing to work so it helps me with creating my image at work so yeah that's that so let's get into this into this haul so let's start off with um, let's start off with Ulta Beauty so they had a sale on their website from September 3rd to the 23rd. I don't I don't exactly recall what the sale was, but 
I just decided to go ahead and to go ahead and stock up on some items that I use quite a bit. And so, well, this one I actually bought in store, and it's the Derma Doctor Ain't Ain't Misbehaving um, Healthy Toner with Glycolic and Lactic Acid. I use a lot of the Derma Doctor products because I don't know they just work. I feel like they work for me. I like them anyway. And so this is the toner that I use every single day. And in addition to that, I bought a bunch of things online. Not too many though. So, um, oh, okay. So this one is the Kakadu C 20% vitamin C serum with ferulic acid and vitamin E. I'm not sure what those are, but it's the vitamin C part of this that I like because I started using vitamin C serums on my face um, close to two maybe even three years ago and I really like how it makes my face look it makes it, it I feel like it makes my skin glow so and they had this on sale for like close to 50% off so I decided that I might as well buy one of these and this is um, 30 ml or one fluid ounce and this lasts a long time because you only use about five drops it says in the instructions to use only five drops every day and it lasts me for I kid you not close to half a year so I have what I'm using right now already and I went ahead and I got this for when that bottle runs out because like I said it was on sale so that's this and then the last thing I got from Derma Doctor is this wrinkle revenge rescue and protect eye balm and this is what I use on my eyes every night I guess it says you can apply it to your eyes around your eye area morning and evening but it's really it's a balm it's really like moisturizing so I don't use it during the day but I use this every single night it helps you know prevent signs of aging or so it says and so so I use this and even though it's like half a fluid ounce and I think I don't know if this was on sale as well I don't think it was but I just went ahead and bought it but this lasts a long time as well. I think I use this for maybe four or five months, even though it's a small, but here, let me show you. It's a really small container. And this is how small it is. Like it's literally as small as my eye, but this lasts for close to four, about four or five months. Cause you need just the smallest amount of it. And so it's really, I like this quite a bit. So. Those are all the Derma Doctor products that I that I got as I'm trying to like break my head. So I got the toner, the uh, Ain't Misbehaving Glycolic Acid and Lactic Acid Toner. I got the Kakadu C Serum and my regular eye balm. And so those are that. That's that. And then during the sale, okay, so this vitamin serum is pretty expensive. Like you can go check the price, but it's pretty expensive. And so I saw that this was this one from Mario Badescu the Mario Badescu product is also like a vitamin C serum and here it is Would you focus so here it is um so I got this I saw this Mario Badescu um vitamin C serum and it was half off and it was as low as like $22 because I think it's like $44 or $45 all the time but regularly but it was half off and so it was like just $22 I said okay let me try this out and see if I like it and if I do then it's a good more affordable alternative than this one that is a bit more expensive and so I got this I really hope it doesn't break down pretty early um, pretty quickly but yeah I got this I hope my skin doesn't react to it and I will let you know how it works out for me and so I got this and I also got a second bottle just because <laughs> it was so it was you know it was on sale it was half off so I got the, I got a second bottle of it we'll see how it works once my current um, Derma Doctor vitamin C serum runs out then I'll try this out and see how it works and I will let you guys know but I but I mean, I checked the reviews online and it had like more than four stars, I want to say. So I figured if so many people like it, it probably 
can be that harmful it can be that harmful right so yeah so that's all of this from Ulta Beauty and so let's go on to the Bath and Body Works and for the Bath and Body Works you know how I get those coupons in the mail I got like a bunch of coupons and it was like 20% off I mean they have they have a 20% off sale on their website right now and in maybe in, store, in stores I don't know but I had the coupon and so I just went ahead and decided to buy a few items um, so first thing I got was these um, aromatherapy body washes because my husband really likes this particular line of um, this particular scent and this is the eucalyptus and spearmint spearmint I like it but yeah so I, I decided to stock up on this and then it was also buy three get three free so I just went ahead and bought six two one two three four of these and so this is going to be it will last for a really long time and then for the remaining two i figured i might as well try out something different and so i got this one this is in the name comfort and it's it says that it's vanilla and patchouli vanilla and patchouli so i've never tried it before the smell is pretty mild yeah so i figured i'd try this out and I also got the body lotion to go with it so you know something new to try out since it was buy three get three free and 20% off on top of that and so yeah oh and then I also oh oh and then I also got a free sample size and so this is gonna go into my purse and this is um, in the name energy and it's um, orange and ginger and so I liked the smell it definitely the ginger in there definitely wakes you up and so I figured this would be perfect when I'm like you know you have when you're having like the three o'clock two o'clock three o'clock kind of lull at work I'm sure if I like rub it in my hands um, it would wake me up so that's why I got this to give me some energy when I'm feeling pretty tired at work and then so those are the the body wash the body products and then I got ooh, And then I also went ahead and and then I also went ahead and stocked up on candles I I was never a candle girl like I never used to burn candles but then I got a candle and I loved it I don't remember what candle it was but I loved it and now I definitely like buying candles and burning candles in my home or in my workspace so first one I saw is as soon as I walked in the store I saw this one it's um, flipping awesome flipping awesome and there's like a spatula on there and it says it's pum pumpkin pecan waffles and oh my god it smells like waffles like I never buy products that smell I never buy candles that smell like food but this one this pumpkin pecan waffles oh my god it smells like waffles and I absolutely love waffles I I can I like waffles a lot so I smelled this and I said I have to get it so I got this and they're having their candles on sale as well for two for twenty four dollars there these they're large three wick candles and so I went ahead and bought this then I also bought this one it's in the name rose and I like the copper um, lid it's nice and it's different I like the copper lid and so this is in the in the scent rose it really does smell like roses though and I'm probably not going to use it anytime soon but I feel like this will be perfect like in the spring or you know after the holidays when there's no more Christmas there's no more Thanksgiving there's nothing to look forward to and you're just like ready for spring and so you can just burn this indoors while it's freezing out so that's why I got this because it smells like roses oh I love it and you can also like burn it in your house if your husband hasn't bought you flowers in a while just like burn it in the house and be like mmm roses oh I love the smell of roses mmm roses maybe he'll get the hint and you know buy you a bouquet of roses <laughs> when you do that don't call me anymore okay so that's the other candle and then I bought this one it is 
in the name it's in the scent almond and my husband likes almonds i think i don't know but i like it it's very it's very soft and very it doesn't smell like food but it smells i don't know it just smells really good let's see it smells like made with almond and sandalwood essential oils well it smells really good it's nice and calming i like it it's nice and calming so that's the almond and then the final one i bought was bergamot 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 i don't know how you pronounce that but it's definitely a bit more it's definitely a bit more musky a bit more masculine and that those are the kind of smells that i like like i like mahogany teak wood i like like the different blue waters you know all those kind of like kind of more masculine or fresh fragrances and so this is definitely one of them and so yeah this would be perfect i feel like later in the year so yeah so that is all that i bought um four candles i hope you like i mean i hope i haven't really described them to you a lot but i hope this is pretty helpful to you when you go out and you want to buy candles oh and one other candle that i saw and i wanted to buy but didn't buy because that would have made it five and i was trying to buy get the two for 24 dollar sale was crisp morning air that would, that smelled so good and so fresh but i picked out this four instead and so that is so that's it for this video i hope you liked the we can work wear part of this video as well as the the mini haul that i just shared with you i hope it's helpful to you in one way or another if it's in planning your clothing for work or you know buying things for your home i hope this has been helpful for you and if it has then definitely give this video a thumbs up i know i'm shamelessly asking for it but yes give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't because i would love to have you come back to me whenever it is that i upload videos and tell your friends and family to subscribe to my channel as well yes but until then until i catch you in my next video take care and yeah be good to each other okay bye